right guys, so today I'm gonna to reveal the newest bike in my collection. It was the cheapest supermoto that I could find on Craigslist within a reasonable dif distance. Um, it's not pretty, it's not super functional, and it's a little old, but I think it'll make a great race bike. And hopefully I can ride it this weekend at um, the Santa Maria Kart Track with M1GP, and we're gonna be celebrating the life of Carlin Dunn. His father and his family are going to be out there and they're going to be riding Carlin's uh, 450 Supermoto on track and so I had to find a Supermoto to run with them. And this is it. This is a 1983 XR500. It's got a great little uh, seat cover here. We've got a, a nice super functional mirror right here that gets right in the way of your, uh, of your throttle hand. It's perfect. The uh, speedometer, focus. Can we get in there? Focus, focus, there we go. The uh, speedometer needle came off, so that doesn't do much good. What else is wrong with that? The uh, compression release lever is broken and doesn't have a cable running to it. That's cool. Uh, it's a little dinged, a little dented. Dense scratches. I mean, this fender, this fender's definitely seen better days. I'm not really not really sure what's going on here. But none of that really matters. It runs, it rides, and I'm gonna take it to Santa Maria to celebrate the life of Carlin Dunn with his friends and family. So my current plan is to tear the bike apart a little bit, get down and dirty with it, get familiar with it, make sure it's pretty much safe, do all the um, safety wiring for the nuts and bolts, uh, put a catch can on it and get it ready for racing. Also gotta get some numbers for it. So with the race coming up on Saturday, I want to get through this bike as much as possible, get all the safety wire, everything torqued down, looking good, make sure there's no missing parts, nothing loose, and it's just overall safe. The only thing about it that sketches me out a little bit is the front brake is a little squishy, so I'm going to try bleeding that out, try and get rid of any play, any slop in that. It's a big heavy bike, and I don't want to go into a corner and just have no brakes. So, next episode, we're going to need tearing into this thing, fixing all the problems, getting it race ready, and then... We'll go racing on Saturday. All right, guys, you know I couldn't leave you without starting this thing up. First of all, let's take a moment and recognize how big this bike is. I'm six foot three and I can, I look like a tiny little person on this thing. And also I've never kickstarted anything bigger than a 252 stroke. So a 500 CC four stroke was a little bit of a learning curve for me. So this is a mostly unedited cut of me starting it for like the second time. I had a bunch of fear because I'd read all of these little stories on forums about people like weighing their legs with the kickstarters when it kicks back at them. And I was especially concerned because the decompression release was removed from this bike or well, it was broken. 
So I was kicking this thing and I was trying to get it right below top dead center, which is why you see me pedaling the Kickstarter so much. I was really trying to make sure that it was in the right position before I even attempted to kick it. Because it did kick back on me once and it almost launched me off the bike. I was a little worried that the auto decompressor being broken was leaving it in a position where it was hard to start, so this is me fiddling with it to try and feel if it was changing the, the feel of the Kickstarter. And for whatever reason, I just had to put the bike in gear and it instantly died and I was really sad inside. I want to say this goes on for another five minutes or so of me kicking the bike before I finally get it started again. There's a horrendous ticking coming from the engine, but after some form searching and you know, just like looking up WebMD, catastrophic engine failure is definitely in the future for this bike if I don't touch it. Or it could just be like a loose cam chain tensioner. Alright everyone, thanks for hanging out with me in the garage, and I'll see you on the next one where we start tearing into this bad boy.